All right, here it is. Been talking to you about the new Corvette I have coming in. It just happens as we're leaving for the Adventure Drives, our little informal drive up to Adventure Drives, Maine. We're going to Arcadia National Park. Should be a good time, and it will be a good time. But uh, Doug, I forgot he had the Corvette Z06, and it's the same color as my C8 I just got. Now, this C8 is going to replace my other C8, which just went out on rent. And uh, this thing's awesome. It's unfortunate that it's worth so much, but I do, like, I do need to have a Corvette in my fleet, at least one at any time. Uh, there's demand for it. And I'm in the business to rent cars, not flip cars. So this will be a rental. Now, you may notice some unique design elements on this car, like the blue seat belts, which I'll be honest. Didn't really think I ordered it that way, but I must have. Uh, I must have seen it online and said, wow, I really need blue seatbelts in my life because the exterior is blue. But uh, whatever. Now it's just, it's unique now. Now it's going to be the blue seatbelt car. And the seatbelts are easy to change. Here you've got the window sticker. Uh, this one is 75480. It's got $7,000 in options. I got the Z51 package on this car because at the time I ordered this, I had the other car, and there's like weenies in this world, especially when the car came out. Hey, does it, uh, what trim package is it? When you're making a, a rental Corvette, nobody cares about the trim package, unless it's like a Z06, a convertible, or a coupe. Nobody cares if it's 2LT, 3LT, 1LT. My other one was 2LT. Uh, this one, I got the Z51 package because people wanted it. But even like the Z51 performance package, nobody's ever gonna notice the difference in that. And I remember on like the C5, you can get like the Z51. It had like a little bit thicker sway bars and like, but it's all garbage. If you actually care about performance, that stuff gets ripped off in a heartbeat and gets replaced by stuff that actually does something. So I don't waste my money on options like that. This car I did. So this is a Z51 um, car. Red calipers, red seats, the red accents on the interior. Really nice. Um, Something I noticed about this car, because it's got now nine miles, and this came from Jim Price in uh, Virginia. And what's funny is the, the sales guy was like, hey, do you, uh, do you have an issue? We're, we're gonna go fill it up with gas, but if you don't want us to drive it, we understand. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, A, I don't care if you drive it. It's, it's like, I'm not a weenie like that. But B, it's like, it's gotta do 500 miles before anyone can even really use it anyway. So absolutely, go drive it. Clearly they, they did. Look at this. Press brake to start, right? Watch this, this is new. Wait, how did it work this time? I just tried to move it and it said, oh, see, that's it. Buckle seat belt to shift. So it won't let me go into gear without putting my seat belt on, which is safety, I get it, but that's, that's new. Um, so let me put my blue belt on. Now I can shift, but the thing is, watch this, ready? Okay, I'm shifting for safety. Take my seatbelt off and you're perfectly fine. So it's just, it's just like, I guess a reminder, because you know, people who buy Corvettes are pretty old, so maybe they forget to put their seatbelt on. Uh, that just makes sure people are a little safer. I didn't know that was a thing. But otherwise, I mean, it's a nice car, convertible, good looking car. Um, and I feel the air conditioning on my feet already. It's great because it's hot right now. It's whatever it is. Uh, nine miles on the car right now, which means it's fresh. I would have taken it on this adventure drives and driven it up there to put the miles on, but it's going to be about like eight or 900 miles. I don't know how to do that. So I'll have my brother drive it around and hopefully hit the 500. Uh, options on this car, it's a 67 four base. I think that went up a little bit from something else. Um, I think, and people were like, oh my God, they're raising the price by 5,000, whatever. Uh, it's still 75 grand and the market clearly thinks it's worth significantly more than that because these are selling for well over a hundred thousand dollars and if i get a hundred thousand for my coupe i can only imagine this 2021 is probably worth 125 130 as it sits right now with delivery miles um so it's nice it's like it's nice to be able to buy something for less than it's worth but then like every instinct i have is to like not I don't know, but whatever it is to like make money on it and like to rent it to make the same money i sort of have to do it uh anyway z51 package i got the uh red calipers and i got the blue seat belts 
that is all I got on this car. That's how you spec a rental car because it's gonna do great. Uh, I don't think it even needed the Z51, but the Z51 covered a lot of the stuff. It had the exhaust, it had the cooling system, it had the suspension, um, the spoiler on the back. So that ate up most of the options I selected before the Z51, which is why I went with the Z51 on this. Um, a lot of stuff is standard. The, the cameras are standard, the park assist, um, the seats, I got the standard seats. They're comfortable, they're good. Everything is good. So 75 grand, uh, 75 480 is this car. And it is ceramic matrix gray. So if you're wondering what color it was, ceramics matrix gray. Great. Let me pull it over here. I'll take a photo with it. If you want to be the first to rent this car, you can, especially if you're cool with the car not revving out all the way. So if you want to just stunt around, I may even give you a discount on it. Um, so hit up. Gotham Dream Cars, uh, GothamDreamCars.com. You can find the, um, you can find the info to call us up. It's 212-957-4400. Give us a shout, and we'll get you behind the wheel uh, this weekend if you want. Because I can't rent it. I don't want to rent it until it's unlocked, and that takes 500 miles to do so. And if you just have a hankering or a, a desire to rent a car with blue seatbelts. Everybody will know this one's mine now because it's got blue seatbelts. Now, luckily, if you saw the window sticker, the seatbelts, right? It's only 395 bucks for the blue seatbelts, which means it's not hard to change it if I want to. But blue seatbelt, 395. Unique, especially, very unique. Um, this thing is going to take bugs. That's just the color. But I like it. Welcome to the fleet car. I'm just sharing this with you. Let me open the engine. I've never, I've never experienced the convertible yet. And let's just see what we're looking at for storage space. Front rear. Not much up here, but that's standard C8. And the back, you don't have to worry about top storage. The top storage kills the back on the coupe. All right, this is this is the golf club storage and everything. What is this? This is oh, look at that. They give you a little. Oh, this is for if you have a gas can. Yeah, not a tremendous amount of storage. I wonder. I guess the only way to access the engine would be to lift the convertible top up. Don't really have to do that. Here's a little secret key behind the license plate if you ever have to get in if that thing doesn't pop up. But I think it looks good. If you look the uh, C8 versus the C7, I don't think the C7 looks bad, but this does look more exotic. I'm excited, I've got a uh, Z06 on order, so when that thing gets specced, that's when the party begins. Rob Ferretti, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. So you guys are familiar with my other company, Adventure Drives, right? Well, we're going to be going to Scotland in October. We're going to be doing Scotch distilleries, playing golf at St. Andrews if you want to do that, walking around, seeing lakes, waterfalls, driving the North Coast. It's going to be an amazing trip. Prices start as low as $2,500 per person for the shorter trip in Scotland. If you're interested in going, check out the link in the description.